Hey, and welcome to Postbag. I received this through the post today. Hopefully, it's going to either be an item for my variable voltage power supply or an item for my new series I'm going to be doing on the Internet of Things connected devices. Let's open it up and see what it is. Oh, two things. Nice. Right, the first thing we have is this Node MCU. It's based on the ESP8266. But what's different with this is we have in circuit serial programmer. We've got a nice little voltage regulator down here and a micro USB port, a button to flash and a button to reset. Why did I get this? This is going to be for a new series I'm planning on um centrally managed and connected internet of things um, i'll create a new video on it soon actually kind of outlining what the series is going to cover but in short it's going to be a number of these units either this node mcu unit or the esp8266 by itself and that will enable us to connect our devices up to the Wi-Fi and speak back to what I'm planning on having is a Raspberry Pi Model B, the latest one out, running some variation of Linux and running an MQTT server. Um, what that will allow is for this to talk backwards and forwards and to send um, yeses and nos and analog values and ons and offs back and forth between this and the MQTT server then we can have various of the various nodes around um, and they can all talk together they can all pass messages backwards and forwards and we'll have a nice centralized platform that will allow us to manage all of these devices and manipulate the data being passed to other devices I'll cover that in another video though Right, and second of all, we have this, what is a LM2596 buck step-down power converter. Um, this is going to be added onto my power supply build. I currently have a nice ATX modified power supply that I'll do a video on shortly. But I want to add this in to... Uh, Give me some variations between the set 3.3 volts, 5 volts and 12 volts that my current power supply is kind of locked to then voltages. So you can feed anything from 4 to 40 volts on the input side. And then it will output anything from 1.3 volts up to obviously the maximum that, that this is being put in. But if I was uh, to put 40 volts in here then I could output anything from 1.3 volts all the way up to 37 volts out on here. There's a little adjustment pot on the top to adjust the voltage. There's a button here that I believe will show on this uh, readout here the input voltage. And then this button here will show, if I was to push that button, it would show the output voltage. This should be a nice little module that I'm going to be doing a video on shortly on how to build a variable voltage power supply. All in all, that is today's post bag. If you like the video, then leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Cool, catch you later.